uh, uh, hello everyone. So this will be a visual guide for chapter two. And uh, I'm going to try and show you how to get through this with my route of ice magnify and fire MP absorb. Um, other people do have a similar route, but they all kind of have their own flair. Uh, so I just want to explain what I have here as a tutorial um, and test out and see if these are helpful or not for newer runners. Um, this will basically kind of give you a basic understanding of why and what. I do. Um, the main reason I use Ice Magnify is it has a really potent interaction with Stagger. Uh, I did go over this in part one with chapter one, but uh, I'll go over it a little bit more here since I have plenty of time. Um, chapter one... <clears throat> well, not chapter one, but Ice Magnify, rather. Um, has a very high capacity for staggering. There's actually a translated Ultimania information uh, that tells us that Ice, um, when it hits a non-pressured enemy, does a lot of stagger, and it does a ridiculous amount once it hits a pressured enemy. So for uh, for all intents and purposes, Blizzara Magnify will stagger everything uh, early game. That's the easiest way to put it. Uh, and if I don't use Blizzara Magnify, it's because there's a better way to kill it quicker. Um, but what we're going to be doing is doping the ATB stagger activation off of uh, Ice Magnify into getting um, some additional uh, ATB every time. Every time we trigger ATB stagger or skill master, we get 900 ATB back. So basically, we only use 100 ATB per command is the more or less the easiest way to put it. And with Ice Magnify, that becomes 2,700, because ATB Stagger can activate three times. That's why Ice Magnify is so busted early game. Because every command can turn into three. Uh, so it's pretty nice overall. Uh, we're going to head on in here. And zip zap, zip zap, do. So, uh, we're going to try and handle the camera here so that we can get um, full run speed. If you do the camera here right, you'll keep running. Uh, I My camera's a bit too low. You'll see runners do it all the time. Just kind of try and emulate it and figure it out. Um, I'm going to show you... There's also a save load we can do. Uh, if you're on the PC or PS5, um, this is applicable. If you're on the uh, P at PS4, this is not applicable. Uh, Sephiroth can fail to load here. Um, the thing is, you need to put it at, um, I believe... Well, I'm not sure about the PC, actually, so we'll just YOLO this. Um, I think we want to run it at a lower frame rate, is the trick. Um, the piece, the piece, PS5, we put it on graphics mode. Okay, yeah, it didn't work. I'm not quite sure what the requirements for the PC version is. Um, so we're going to... Turn it back up to 60. Uh, you you want to run the game at 60 frames. Um, obviously, if you can run it higher, it's better. But uh, the PS5 version is the best. Um, because it doesn't have load screens in between each load. Uh, and loads relatively quickly. Uh, and you also want to leave that on performance mode, not graphics mode. There are a couple of bugs and glitches that you can use uh, graphics mode to get out of bounds and stuff. But for the most part, just stick with performance. But for whatever reason, Sephiroth can fail to load here. And uh, if he fails to load, uh, it saves about 10... It saves 10 seconds if you do a bunch of save loading nonsense to make it work. And it saves about 20 if you don't... If you just YOLO into it. I don't know if the PC version even has him uh, unable to unload. The newer version may have actually patched it. I'm not 100% certain. Because uh, they did say they patched various bugs... Uh, and this should be the older version. I'm pretty sure I told it not to update, so... Um, anyway. We're gonna run on in through here. This slowdown doesn't exist if we don't see Sephiroth in that alleyway. And this right here, Cloud would still be running at full speed. Um, I'm not sure about it on the PC version, but it is available on the PS5. So, we're gonna be spamming a lot of Blizzard Magnify with, uh, ATB Stagger on deck to get, um, ATB back. It's more or less um, going to keep me floating, uh, just flooded in ATB to the point where um, the game really can't keep up with my damage output. As a matter of fact, I'll kill stuff so fast that I need to slow down because some of the enemies will get an HP lock. That's another one of those camera manipulations right there. You want to get the camera pretty close to the Mako Reactor dead center. 
Uh, also, New Game Plus, you don't need any chests, nothing interesting. Even if there was, you can't use items, so it's kind of unfortunate. And you could also have everything maxed out anyway. Uh, I do know there's, like, Iron Bangle and an Aether in this chapter for a new game, but New Game Plus doesn't need any of that stuff. So we're just going to get on through this and skip. And now we're going to roll on back, hold back and for or back. It's the... Yeah. The lock-on can get really dicey around here. Uh, if you're really, like, forgetting, that's a deadly dodge materia, and no, you don't need it, as usual. So we're going to Blizzard a Magnify through most of these enemies. You want to make sure that ice didn't hit a uh, telephone pole or a light pole. These ices um, are pretty weird and can hit the uh, poles. Um, the reason I was keeping an eye on those guys was because um, you saw how they were kind of clipped into the floor. Uh, if you didn't, go back and look. And that you can tell that they're spawned kind of funny in that situation. You want to just fire a limit here. You can also get close and use uh, Blizzara uh, to kill them. These guys right here, I'm just going to hesitate a little bit and Blizzara once I get around here. What that's going to do is make this Blizzara one-shot these two. And I don't have to do a single thing. Don't have to lift my sword up or anything. Uh, make sure you switch your camera to back in here to kind of look at the uh, helicopter. And then we're going to flee down here. Um, now, you may see new game runners fleeing down the center of the street. Uh, you can do that, but I really wouldn't suggest it. Uh, hard has high enough, um, interrupt. Long story short, um, instead of, like, going deep into interrupt and all, explaining all the stuff, the bullets that the, sh the troopers shoot you with will stun you. Each and every bullet will. So you end up getting a lot of hits stun if you get shot by bullets. So what we're trying to do is just avoid getting shot by bullets. Uh, the HP loss isn't really the issue. It's more so that we just don't want to get uh, wombo comboed and lose a bunch of HP and have to stand there and just go, ugh. All right, so that worked out pretty good. I go down this um, sidewalk. Other, There are other runners that go right down the center, but like I said, it's a, it's a risk-reward, right? So you can uh, slash right there, and it usually locks onto those guys. You're going to want to lock on to the... Or the game could, you know, uh, lock onto everything else than what you want. You want to be careful here. If you can get these two combat segments linked, your ATB will usually carry. It's not going to carry over. Uh, so we're going to lock on in Blizzara. Oh, that's really obnoxious. That's extremely obnoxious. Oh, that's super obnoxious. No, actually, that's good. Uh, so that'll give me Fire a Fire a. So we're just going to go for Fire a Fire a into Cross Slash. That's what you can do in this situation. Um, but, uh, what you really want to do is something a little bit different. You want to make sure you Blizzara the right guy. That's why I tried to lock on immediately, but the game is kind of an ass and does whatever it wants anyway. So we're going to restart the fight, lock on as soon as possible, Blizzara. And then we're trying to take care of this guy right here, because he's usually outside of the range. Lock on, Blizzara. Uh, that was not intended to hit that guy. Fire up. Uh, so we got lucky and got some extra hits on the uh, Huntsman. And there you go. So one of the Fireas did hit the other Shield Trooper. Um, sometimes the spells can go wild here. If you really want to play it safe, wait a little bit until the Huntsman is the only one left and then start spamming Fire up. Um, but that's about it for this chapter. It's pretty straightforward. I'll show you the fight one more time. Um, Blizzard Magnify stops really being useful uh, just because Blizzara will one-shot everything. We have enough MP to deal with it, so there's no reason to not just go Blizzara, Calling deal with this guy. That's that. You can either switch stances or hold square. So Blizzara, then we want to start casting Fyra, and that is not no what I want to target yet again. Burn. But like I said, we can just do this, cross slash. Um, without fire, you could get away with a fire, um, fire elemental mithril blade cross slash. But like I said, it requires, um, elemental. The MP absorb doesn't have to be added until chapter four as well. So you could keep elemental on from chapter one, two, and three, uh, and then switch to fire MP absorb, add refocus into your loop. Um, and if you're going to do multiple menus, I would suggest that fire elemental is a real lifesaver. Um, if you screw up your inputs or you get knocked out of an attack, Fire Elemental will make it so you can actually kill shit with the Mithril Saber. 
Um, uh, so, just uh, know that that's something that you can do. I'll uh, show you right now. Um, so I could uh, keep this, put that there, and we'll put you back on Elemental. Um, Elemental, the MP Absorb is only needed to get enough MP in the Chapter 4 Annex fight with the current fight that I use. So I'd say stick with Elemental if I were you. So we can just YOLO the Blizzard like this. But it can be pretty dicey to the point where stuff like this happens. Um, so you only need to take care of these guys back here to kill the Huntsman. But, um, that's not, I believe it's, yeah, it should be one plus cross slash. You can see, like, the huge difference in damage that it goes from doing barely anything to about 9,000. So that is something you can keep in your back pocket. If you're going to do the extra menu, you might as well keep Fire Elemental until uh, Chapter 4. Uh, and then change it in right before the fight. Uh, but I will see you later. That is it for Chapter 2. It's pretty straightforward. Um, I just wanted to explain kind of how it works. Uh, point out the camera repositioning and why Ice Magnify is so powerful. Ice Magnify is so powerful because, like, um, I'll show you here real quick. You kind of see how it's creating all three of the ice cubes. Well, what happens is, when you do it with fire is fire ends up killing everything around it so it doesn't duplicate. Or it doesn't duplicate properly. So what will happen here is I'm just going to fire a magnify. I'm going to make sure we get rid of the riot trooper. No escape. And then you kind of see how it just took care of three enemies and that's it. That's the problem. It doesn't trigger ATB stagger. It doesn't really wipe out more than three enemies. It gets really, really obnoxious to deal with. The only thing I would do right here though is wait for the uh, fire -ga on big boy. Because you might get a multi-hit out of this. Time to burn. Yeah, you could. Could theoretically get one, but you didn't. See, the thing is, with fire, I find it to be a lot more dicey. So you gotta be very careful. And not only that, but you have to micromanage your ATB to get away, uh, get kills. You can go for multi-hit targets, but I wouldn't do it. I really wouldn't go with Fire Magnify anymore now that we've uh, tested out the Ice uh, Magnify route here. It's just better, in my opinion. Um, it does introduce a longer and more arduous menu. Um, but for the consistency that it brings, it's just way more important. Uh, it's mainly for Chapter 4, but still, it just makes the rest of these fights so much easier. So that'll be it. I'll see you guys later. I hope these uh, first two uh, help out help out with understanding what's going on. I know I didn't really do re redo too much of the fights, but I feel like I can explain it pretty well because I'm used to doing marathon commentary. So I hope that helped. See you guys later. Peace.